so far it's been a, a moderate season. We really haven't had a lot of act activity. Um, today on our uh, first helicopter inspection of the season, uh, we inspected down on the Great Egg Harbor River and uh, just got up here to Brigantine. Luckily we haven't found any activity that we needed to, uh, to do an application for. Uh, now we're going to be off to one more site here on Brigantine Island and then up to uh, Forsyth uh, Wildlife Refuge. Uh, we'll see what's going on up there. My name is Mike Gustray. I'm with Atlanta County Mosquito Control. I'm the biologist for the department and today we're going to set up some traps here in Birch Grove Park to determine what kind of mosquitoes are living in the area, how many of them they are, and find out if there's any virus activity in the area, which is one of the main things that we at Mosquito Control uh, are extremely leery of. So our first trap that we're going to set up is called a grab -a trap. It is a, a tub. Uh, we use an attractant and it's stink water. It's made of grass, water, and left to ferment. And it's quite pungent. So stand back. This type of attractant will uh, attract <laughs> a certain type of mosquito that enjoys laying eggs in a very organic uh, water environment. So we try to duplicate that by making this water. We have two kinds of gravit traps. We have an older gravit trap. Um, this is one of the originals that they made. Uh, we've done a few modifications to it to make it easier to use. And then we uh, will take our net, and our net will sit over top. Now the idea of this is the mosquito will fly in, it will attract it to the water, it flies underneath, and we'll have it, there's a small fan, we'll suck the mosquito up, and through these, uh, through these slight slots in the trap here, and they'll get caught in the net. Okay. And we'll give it a little juice. And we're ready to go. And the fan will run all night long. Tomorrow morning we'll come back and we'll collect the samples. We'll take them back to the lab. We'll deep freeze them. We'll identify them, count them and prepare them to be sent to the state lab for, for virus activity. So that's one kind of gravit trap we have. Now we have a little more modern gravit trap. Um, it's the same idea, um, just the equipment's just a little bit different. This we call the Ryder Cummings gravit trap. It basically looks like a toolbox. But if you open it up, it has a hole in the bottom here, and it has a much like a tube, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment. Right. We have a power source, six volt battery, and we have the catch net, and then we have this tube. The tube fits down in through the hole and sits just above the surface of the water. And we take our trap net and we fit it over the top. They were all set, except the last thing we have to do is we have to turn it on. And what that does, it pulls, there's a small fan that pulls air up the tube into the catch net and then exhausts it out the side. And this, this particular trap, like all of them, will set in the evening, we'll let it run all night long, and then we'll collect it again in the morning. And we will take the samples once again back to, back to the lab to be examined and prepared for testing. Okay, we have another trap that we use. 
Uh, it's called a CO2 trap because we use carbon dioxide as the attractant. The carbon dioxide mimics human beings breathing and mosquitoes are attracted to that and they follow the CO2 to where you are and that's where they, they're going to they're gonna find that they're going to get a nice meal from you. So we use uh, not only CO2 with this trap but we also use a light source that that helps to attract a variety of mosquitoes as well. And what we do is we put this, uh, this net on here, it's the catch net. Uh, it has elastic band and it fits right over the trap here. And we'll just pull that a little bit tight there. Next thing we do is we hang up the uh, CO2 which is our attractant. What we do is we fill up a cooler full of dry ice. As you can see the CO2 is coming off and we fill up a cooler this big it'll it will open it up and it'll give off a stream of CO2 all night long pretty much till we get back here in the morning and hopefully that'll lure in a lot of mosquitoes. So I'm going to do is I, I don't know if you can see the CO2 coming out. I'm going to tie that close by the trap here. A little bit of a challenge doing this. Today there's not too many mosquitoes in the area. So that makes it a little bit easier. And then the last thing we do is plug in the battery. So we have another six volt battery. This is uh, our, our work, staple, our workforce, our power source. We keep these charged up all the time. We have several sets. Now we have the light on. And the trap is set. Looks like we're in good shape. And now what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll collect this net and the rest of the trap and we'll take it back to the lab for uh, to determine the, pop the identity and the population and prepare them for testing at the state lab for virus activity.